Alright, so what's up studs and chats coming at you with some gaming news and today we got a lot of really good news And we also have a horror story. I mean uh, put your kids to bed, uh, hide your wives I mean it do be like this. Uh, we're gonna be talking about God of War We got two different stories for God of War. We also got news about the black ops world record run We got a park champ on the situation. We got new cyberpunk Xbox Series X gameplay We also have two blu-ray discs that are gonna be for the ps4 for uh, cyberpunk 2077 So the game is gonna be fat, okay? And we also got a new ps5 update that i want to talk about and you know what there is a horror story in the mix and i really want to start this video off with this one of course i'll be elaborating in the video real quick i want to stress this okay this only goes for people who are an oil prince okay if you're an oil prince if you're getting money coming coming like a tsunami you got benches lying around you know you you wake up you wash your face with that money then totally go ahead purchase it from the scalpers right uh, i know that some of you guys are thinking about it some of you guys are thinking about throwing in the towel and i'm saying do not throw in the towel ladies and gentlemen it's not worth it we're hearing a lot of consoles are getting sent to console heaven and here's the quick thing right if your console gets sent to console heaven and you purchase straight from sony or from microsoft maybe even from walmart target best buy amazon and if your console gets sent to console heaven you're gonna be able to return your product you're gonna be able to get your refund or exchange it right but if you purchase from a scalper the chances are that's it you pay twelve hundred dollars or two thousand and then if your console gets sent to console heaven that's it man then you will probably hear me say it, it do be like this you know like really man seriously think about it do not throw in the towel unless you are an oil prince, okay? If you're an oil prince, buy billions of consoles, right? I mean, smash the like button for the pro tip. But our first story is about Jim Ryan, and he says that th this whole thing is cap, okay? Not like your console being sent to console heaven. That's not cap. Consoles are being sent to console heaven. He said that reports that Sony consider higher first-party PS5 game prices for launch. That is cap. I mean, Jim Ryan, he <laughs> came out and says that I can say that the report that we're uh, considering higher prices for the first party games is categorically cap cap equal false false equal cap okay if you subscribe to the channel you will learn the slang okay he did say this is cap and uh, because here's the thing right previously on november 9th we heard that you know sony considered raising ps5 games prices beyond 70 dollars says new report and the new report came from bloomberg themselves they are very credible and i really think that they were not capping okay like i'm just gonna keep a buck 50 with all of you stud muffins out there i really think that was not cap but the fact that like they came out and they said that it's gonna be hundred dollars this and that that was probably getting people sus and sony was definitely getting sus as well right like hey people are thinking that we're gonna be raising our price but that's uh we, we are not gonna do that right so i think that's why they came out in my opinion that's a good sign i see this as an absolute w because now it seems like that the prices are not gonna be increasing anytime soon maybe like in five years time you know in 10 years time or 80 years time when we got gta 6 maybe then uh, the prices will be a little bit more expensive but also there's a new update for ps5 now there are more numbers than mason ever seen in the black ops campaign wow. oh! You guys know these are facts, baby. PS5 system software update 20.0202.25.00. I mean, keep it simple, dog. Like, I'm not a math guru out there. And this is what this update brings. Quote, the system software update improves system performance. I mean, yeah. dad, like, we all knew about that, right? That's nothing new, but... Sony still hasn't released the official patch notes yet, so we're not sure what it will do. According to our experts, the update is 868 megabytes, so that is almost a gig right there, so I'm not sure what it do. We got the fans out there, they're hoping that the new firm, uh, firmware update fixes issues, and I really hope it does, because you know what, we have this article, and this article is a horror story in itself, and personally, even my PS5 has shut down once so far, and I had a massive <laughs> attack, I was like, hey, my console was sent to console heaven, but thankfully, uh, it was was not all right but i did had a massive crash and my console did shut down on me okay my sony pony console okay the one that i love dearly and we're hearing from this article ps5 owners your next gen console could be sent to console heaven at any moment obviously i cannot say these words on youtube crashes corruptions and system breaking bugs some ps5 buyers are understandably bummed out but fear not playstation fans or in other words sony pony fans they have combined the report from everybody out there right even paul tassi he his godfall 
actually hard crashes Sony Pony console again completely again this is starting to get concerning I've heard this happening on other games too not just this one this is happening to a lot of people this also happened to me where I was playing Call of Duty Zombies and I was on round 30 and my PS5 crashed and it was only up for like one to two hours that's wild right we're also hearing that Miles Morales is crashing for a lot of people out there you have the HDD issues we got the download issues obviously these are the issues that I talked about in a separate video I talked about hey do not do this if you want your console to live a little bit longer maybe with this new update it's gonna be fine and I'm pretty sure Sony will iron out the bugs and for Xbox the quick resume feature is causing a lot of black ops and Assassin's Creed Valhalla are the two major games that are causing a lot of crashes on Xbox so really there is nothing big to worry about right like if your console gets sent to console heaven you're gonna be able to return it and whatnot but if you bought it from eBay or from a scalper then you might run into issues right so definitely do not buy from them unless you're an oil prince okay if you're an oil prince who see money coming in like a tsunami then uh, I mean go for it right like buy yourself a million different consoles and maybe even like give away Xbox Series X to me as well I would love you forever I mean I'm just kidding right but speaking of cyberpunk we're hearing that cyberpunk 2077 physical edition comes with two blu-ray discs on a Sony Pony PS4 and we actually got a photographic evidence from a man on the streets by the name of Mikey Morphin he posted this a day ago and says that in the box you will get two blu-ray discs world compendium stickers I mean that gives me a PTSD you know whenever I hear about stickers it brings me back to the black ops 4 sticker days like that postcards game map digital content access needless to say I'm really excited about this game and we also did get gameplay straight from cyberpunk as well running on Xbox one X and Xbox series X they did a comparison and obviously the game looks neat on Xbox series X compared to the one X but it's not a whole lot of upgrade and in the same video they also confirmed that the next gen upgrades will be coming out next year okay so they confirmed it this is not an upgrade but the gameplay do be looking pretty good right like I'm definitely gonna be live streaming that on the channel yeah we're gonna be having two streams like on November 19 there will be a cyberpunk stream straight from CD Projekt Red I will be streaming that and on December 10th I will be streaming the game as well for all of you so turn those notifications on and the gameplay I mean like they, I, I think this is gonna be our GTA 6 okay before we get GTA 6 you know if you guys think that this game GTA 6 will rival I think that this game will be GTA 6 and right here we got Keanu Reeves out here and if you're kind of tripping I did switch up the language right there okay so don't trip I mean shout out to you if you did get the reference speaking of God of War there are two different stories I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the fact that Alana she or she do be looking extra today like I gotta keep a buck 50 Neil says that smash a like button you know what I mean and says that hi everyone or I should say hi everyone I'm finally allowed to announce my new job as a video game writer at Santa Monica, who you probably as the studio. And, and you know what? This is kind of ironic here because she says that she's going to be a video game writer and she missed the, the, you probably know the studio who made God of War, right? Like, that. I mean, you know, it happens to the best of us. It happens to me as well, right? I write like a journalist as well, or I should not say write as a journalist because normally a journalist would write like properly. I write like a non-journalist, okay? Like, let me put it that way. But, but you know what? It happens to the best of us. But meant to say, who you probably know as the studio who makes God of War I'm so so proud to be a part of this incredible team yo congrats to Alana you know what I'm also proud and here's the thing right a lot of people are also talking about the fact that God of War is probably near completion right now you know the story is probably written as of right now the story is complete they're probably like working on the game bugs they're probably finishing up the details uh, polishing the game and whatnot because it's gonna be coming out in less than a year right so either she's gonna be a writer for a new game or maybe for God of War but I suspect that she's gonna be a writer for a new game maybe even a new God of War that we're gonna get after Ragnarok I'm not sure this is just a thought out there let me know your expertise and we're also hearing that PlayStation boss cannot comment on God of War Ragnarok Rock being a PS5 exclusive and some people got sus where they said that hey does this mean this game is gonna be coming out on PC does this mean it's gonna be coming out on PS4 realistically I see this game coming out on both platforms all right because Sony has already confirmed that they are looking to put their exclusive games like Sony first party games on PC as well but it's most likely gonna be a timed exclusive for PS5 and then maybe a year later six months later or two years after it's gonna be on PC and I think it's surely gonna be on PS4 as well the fact that he says that hey man he cannot comment on the situation 
edition. Uh, I'm pretty certain that this game is gonna be on the PS4. It's a good thing for people who do not have a PS5, but of course, like, if they're gonna be putting this game on PS4, then it's gonna limit the PS5 version, right? Of course, if you look at Miles Morales, the game looks beautiful, okay? The adaptive triggers are absolutely wild on the PS5, but of course, we all have to agree here is that the graphics aren't too much different compared to the PS4. On your screen right now, you're watching a 255 world record run from a homie from the streets, from a big chungus out there, and he was the first guy, if I'm not mistaken, to actually beat the world record for Black Ops 3 as well, or the first guy to get to round 255 in Black Ops 3, and now he did it again. Once you get to round 255, it starts from zero, and uh, it, instead of like you really being on round zero where, you know what, the zombies will be slow, this and that, the zombies are still fast. It's like you are on round 255, but it's gonna reset. So right now you can see he's on round six. He actually manually put 256 plus. He's a pog champ. I mean, what else can I say? And lastly, I do wanna reiterate the point here is that fresh PS5 stock is coming to Walmart just before Thanksgiving. They already confirmed that. I already have made a video on it, but you know what? Just to kind of give a reminder, just trying to help everyone out. Hopefully you guys can cop it. Do not feed the scalpers. On November 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern, you're gonna be able to get yourself a Sony Pony console and Xbox. It's only gonna be online, right? So of course scalpers are gonna be there, I guess. It's inevitable at this point, right? It do be like this. Try your luck, try your chance, and it's also gonna be available on November 27th at 12 a.m. Eastern time as well. So you got two days, try it out, like and subscribe, click on any of the video on the screen, you're gonna get a kick of dopamine, and I will see you right there.